Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna do a little review on uh, my 2017 CF Moto Z Force 800 Trail. <coughs> um, this, this has actually been a real good machine all around. Um, It uh, it, it for the, for more, for the money, it was well worth it. Um, let's go. We'll go into a little, little of what you get. Um, so this is an 800 trail, 50 inch model. Um, the 800 EX is a 60. Um, so that's the only difference between the two. Um, that's between uh, Trail and EX. Um, comes with winch, um, roof, um, yeah, roof, and actually comes with a two-inch receiver in the rear. Stock comes comes from the factory, just like that. Um, for all the aftermarket stuff I got on here, um, I do have Super ATV um, spring spacers in there. It's supposed to give you two inches clearance. It's 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 maybe an inch more, if that. Um, and then, of course, it makes the ride a little bit stiffer. Um, has octane ridge uh, doors. The uh, front and rear windshields are um, Super ATV. Also have the cargo box from Super ATV. Which actually isn't too bad. It's fairly fairly decent. Um, and again, comes with with a two inch receiver. Um, actually, um, this they do have a directional kit for this thing, so you can actually use your use directionals on this machine. Um, and actually, actually, it's it's almost um, street legal, legal at that point. Um, right now, it's still st everything is still stock on it as far as um, um, any other bolt-ons go. I haven't done exhaust. Uh, nothing to the motor. Uh, dry anything in the drivetrain. Nothing in the drivetrain. I did have other wheels and tires on here, um, but I'm selling those. I actually like the stock wheels. They're actually in decent shape. They look they, well, decent shape. They look, they look real nice. Um, I think CF Moto went, went out of the way to make it uh, appealing. So, um, so this machine uh, I've had it since February, and it's it's been an excellent machine altogether. Um, Done some mudding in it, and actually, that, well, that was why I got the the rear windshield, because the mud, as you can see, the mud just comes up and over and right into the cab. Um, um, the first time I went out mudding with it, the uh, the whole back storage compartment here was full, and pretty much the whole, it actually it's an orange dash. Well, that was covered. Everything was covered. Even I was covered. Um, back I had I had to take this thing apart. Well, take the seats come out. I had to take everything out, and I just just um, just hosed everything down. Um, one thing I did do to this machine uh, when I was going through mud and some little bit of uh, swampy areas, they do have. Let me see if I can find. Okay, there's a stock. Um, drain hole, and and it was it would not drain. In fact, this hole, this is a, a foot well for the gas or the gas pedal is, and it would not drain. So I had to drill out, a, drill, a, drill, drill one more in there. And there's two. Well, there's crap in that one. I put two extra ones in here, and it, now it drains perfectly. Um, this side, I just I just opened a few of them up, and that was it. 
nothing nothing special I only opened up what needed to be opened up um, again there's there's a stock one and there's one I've just popped open um, as far as grant for to drain water out of this thing because it, it's just low to the ground um, and it, it, the water was just pouring in so I and when I got out of that puddle it just it, it took forever for it to to drain out especially on, on the driver's side passenger side wasn't too bad um, so this this one on the I had a oh I'm sorry a 2013 Z6 um, that was a 60 inch wide and that one they had neutral and then you had to pull the brake e brake new the 17 model um, can it came through with a, a park position which is beautiful it works beautiful. Um, so let's see what else we got here. Of course, it has four wheel drive and then your diff lock. Of course, works excellent. I've used a use a I think I used a diff lock once and that's it. But four wheel drive works excellent on this thing. Um, over here, you have your plug for your winch cable, oh, which is gonna be this. So it's, this is your this is your uh, for your winch. It's it's actually a wired remote, and there's the other end. Plugs into the electrical call over there. The uh, the plug. So it's it's a plug-in. It's wired. Uh, still thinking of going going with some type of remote. Um, of course, it's got uh, your 12 volt um, cigarette lighter uh, adapter for it, so you can charge your phone and everything. Um, horn. This uh, yeah oh this is the um, your um, yeah your um, overdrive if you if you if you're in your reverse just hold this down and it'll give you full power on, on, all the way around um, as if you were going forward horn or your lights this rocker switch I put in which is for the um, the roof um, I'm sorry the roof the um, light bar that I put in. And of course, kill switch. I don't know why I put a kill switch in this thing when, when the key's right next to it. Um, and then you can put one more, one more uh, rocker switch in here. Um, this is this thing does have power steering. Works beautiful. Um, I do have an issue with it. Uh, uh, two two weeks two weekends ago, I went through a rocky trail, and it. Uh, I think I have an issue with the uh, power steering. Not 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 hundred percent sure. I got to bring it to the dealer and uh, and have the, have them uh, check it out. Because uh, right now the left wheel is at an angle, and actually the way it sits right now, the left wheel is at an angle, um, and the uh, right wheel is straight. So there is an issue with easier, but the trail was on was all rocky. Um, right now it's the only issue with the machine. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about the whole machine uh, at all because it, it is actually a decent, a real nice machine for the price. I only paid ten seven for it. Um, I believe the EX is maybe a grand more, roughly, maybe two, maybe. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but uh, right now. She's got well 162 on it, um, and a lot of that was uh, well, I'm sorry, about 100 miles of that was put up in um, going up Mount Washington and trail riding up uh, in the Gorham Berlin area and actually Jericho State Park area, um, and it it ran beautiful. Um, my buddy's side by side broke down. He's got a 2015 800. Um, and the spring blew out, rear spring blew out. So I told him go ahead and, bar and go ahead and ride this, and I I rode his um, his uh, wife's uh, Polaris 570, which which wasn't in a bad machine either. Um, but yeah, this this actually this I'm sorry, the this has everything on it. So of course your your two wheel drive, throw a four wheel drive here. 
everything everything's lit up on here oops I'm just changing my time by accident oh it was nine so um, so here's your trips your RPMs you can go on and then back to mileage um, I never the, the, the farthest I've seen the, this uh, the coolant temp goes up is probably three bars and that's it and it draw it it just stays there and it or or it comes down just maybe one bar the fuel on this thing is actually pretty good too um, even though we only drove like a hundred miles I it was only down to the, th to the third bar and that's it that's all that's all we ran on the whole week the, the whole week or weekend that we were up there um, now this is from uh, two great TV so it's got like two positions for the uh, for the windshield which is nice because you can either block out the air or let a little bit a little, little bit in there's only one drawback is with this because ha I have the rear, rear windshield um, it does collect dust so I like to keep keep that open just on the first setting um, the issue is that is the air intake and I took the air filter off yesterday and and blew it out and it looked like a mini microburst landed that's how much dust was in there um, and that was only on a hundred mile trip so for anybody that has a, Z, a Z800 or actually any Z Z Force, uh, make sure after every pretty much after every um, trip, if it's real dusty, clean clean uh, take your um, air filter and clean it. It, it. Mine was just packed with 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 ton, tons of dust. It, it like I said, it was it was like a mini bur mini microburst touched down right in my yard. You almost couldn't see see any cars. <laughs> so. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, let me shut this off real quick. So, so yeah, of course, got the Octane Ridge, Ridge doors. Close, actually, close is nice. And they're very solid. Um, so, oh, no, I'll, I'll share a front one. So, right there, this is the. Super ATV um, lift, a two-inch lift. All it does is, is, for me, is compresses the spring and the, and I've got this um, softened all the way up. Even the reservoir is softened. Um, it's still a, hard, a little bit of a hard ride, but it's not too bad. So, I, if I don't know, if you like a stiff ride, that's the way to go. If not, I am going to eventually, if I keep this one. And because I'm thinking of uh, going with a 1000 uh, EX and get, and get out of the 800 trail, maybe by the end of the year, uh, we'll we'll see. But if I do keep this, I will. I'm gonna. I want to make a custom two inch, two or three inch lift for it in the front and back. Um, there is a company called Smithfield, but I guess they went out of business for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but they, but they actually have a, they had a good kit. It looked at, well, it looked good. I haven't, I never seen it on a machine, so that's the only thing. Um, but I do want to do a lift on here, give it some more height. Um, and the other thing too is eventually, once I wear these tires down, if again, if I keep it long enough, um, put some new, um, bigger tires on it. These are 26s, so. Um, I like to go with a 28, 29 and a half is pushing it as it may, well, the rear may have a cover, may be all right, but the front will probably, probably, um, um, start, start, um, rubbing on, on the inner, inner, uh, inner wall, inner fender well. So I would, I'd like to go with a 28 on these and see where we go from there. Um, of course, some thrash, just a little bit of thrashing there. <laughs> and actually, I'm surprised. I don't know how it didn't take out that front fender flare, but I I hit something and 
or drag some, or dragged along something. I don't know what it was, but it, it got the door and and the, the body. That's all right. That's what they're made for. Give them a little little bit of a beating here and there. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, of course, like I said, everything stock. There, there is this is a stock exhaust. I believe Two Brothers makes an exhaust, but it's only it's only it's, they say it's for the EX, but I don't know. I I, I gotta look at the specs and see if the, if it does if if it will fit the trail also. Um, I think there's one other couple other muffler company out there too. Um, that that will that makes one. I'm not sure. The other thing is uh, f fuel injection. I was looking at Dobeck. Dobeck Racing Performance. They have a tuner, or a, yeah, tuner. It's, it's pretty much just a. It's just a, you can you can adjust your fuel and and everything. So it's a little bit of performance mod. Nothing huge. Um, this also is a storage compartment in here. I. And it's it's a pain in the butt to put back in, put this whole cover back in. Um, but it's, it's it's okay. But it, and if anybody's wondering, is it is not waterproof. Um, that's that's I don't know. That's the, that's that's the only thing about that. It's not waterproof. The now this glove box on the passenger side is somewhat waterproof. Um, but there is one on the driver's side. And this one here is definitely not waterproof. I've no I know I've had um I think I have my registration in here and I opened it up and it was full actually it was wet. It was big time wet. So this one is not waterproof. That one Eh, it's okay. I did, there was maybe a little bit of water in here, not much, but hey, it, it is what it is. Um, the um, the Super ATV box is waterproof. It has a rubber gasket going all the way around, um, and that's pretty much it. So right now, I'm only looking at well, if again, if I keep it by the end of the year. Um, doing the um, muffler, a um, the Dobeck Racing uh, performance module in here, um, bigger tires, uh, and suspension lift. I want to get rid, of, like I said, I want to get rid of those spacers and put an actual lift in it. Um, if I have to make it, then I will make it. I'll just cut it. Have, just have someone cut it, laser cut it for me, and um, I'll put it all together. Just got to figure everything out. But um, so yeah, she runs pretty, real nice. Right now, I do have. A, there's an issue with the door, and I don't know exactly where to go to go with it at the moment. So that's the only issue I have with it at the moment. Well, I'm sorry, and and in in that uh, front left wheel, um, and that's that's pretty much it. So I'm go for a quick ride here. Actually, I'm, I'm only in my backyard, so I'm gonna just go around and park her, park her in the garage. That does it for this video and then um, maybe next video I will do a do one on my um, another
another CF model that I, that I just picked up, but I haven't ridden, drunk, driven it yet, run it, run it anywhere. It's going up to New York, oh, sorry, New Hampton. It's going up to New Hampshire next weekend, I'm sorry, yeah, next weekend um, for Jericho, Jericho Festival. And um, I'll do a, rev do a review after that. As that one's brand new. And I'll, I'll let you in on that one later. Thanks for watching.